Hey everyone, welcome back. Now, as we continue through chapter four, we're gonna to come to our energy balance now because we've been talking about a lot of different ways of producing work. And all of those ways of producing work are gonna be changing the energy of our system. Now, I've seen this one before. We have the difference in our energy in versus our energy out. It's gonna be equal to our how our change in energy, um, how our system's energy changes. And we could also do that in a form that takes into account over time. So how much my energy of my system is changing over time is based on how much power input I have versus how much power output I have. Now, this makes sense because we know the first law of thermodynamics says that energy is not created or destroyed. It moves from one form to another. And because it's moving from one form to another, um, it has to go somewhere. It has to go somewhere. Now, we have this power form versus these, like just regular energy form. And these two can be related. Like you can take all the things that go into them and you can simply say, okay, my heat that's either been going in or going out is equal to my heat with, over time times the time frame. Or work is equal to my work input over time times the time frame. And even how much my energy is changing, I can do that by knowing how my energy changes with time and giving it a time frame. That seems pretty obvious, but just in case it wasn't, there it is. Now we have a system that we're dealing with and where the mass flow is zero. There is no mass flow. Because of that, the only thing that can affect our system is heat and work. Heat and work are the only things that can affect our system. And so what we'll eventually find out is that our net work output is gonna be equal to our net heat input, or for power as well. And we see that from a cycle. In an earlier video, I showed you, like if we wanna produce power, we might have a cycle that looks like this. I told you the only way we could have this line and this one was if I had heat going in and heat going out. And that's important. This cycle runs because there is a net heat input and it produces therefore a net work output, which is the area of this box. So the two are related. The two allow me to calculate the things I need. And this is what thermodynamics is all about. It's all about taking heat and transforming it into work and how much of it can actually make it to work. It's all very, very important. Okay, so a few more little things here. This is mostly for sign conventions. So I'm trying to figure out the overall change in energy of my system, which might be zero. If it is, then those two are equal. Um, then I need to be careful about how I'm running my net heat input, and my net work output. So what do we remember? It's just look at this. So your net heat input, it's the difference between the heat in minus the heat out. Network output, the work out minus the work in, because remember we're saying the work is positive if it's going out, the work is negative if it's going in, because I'm having to do work there. We're always talking about what I have to do in that regard. Now, you can do your own sign conventions here. There's a lot of ways you can write these things and it still work out fine. Just be very careful. These are gonna probably work out really well for you for most of our equations. Now, as I know, all this is built on the first law. We're just using the first law to define this. But the first law is actually not some magical mathematical thing. It's not like one plus one equals two where you can have a proof of it. You can't actually prove it mathematically. The thing is we just simply have looked in nature and we've never found a process, no process that's ever violated the first law. And so because of that, that should be taken as enough proof that it actually works. <laughs> if it's never failed and it's been this long with us using it, it's probably good to say that it's a law. Okay, so that's where we'll stop this time. Thank you all so much. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.